Hey everyone, and welcome to part one of my playthrough of Nightmare Ned. This is Silent Noise Plays, and I am Silent Noise. If you need more information on how to play Nightmare Ned on a modern computer, please check the description below for more details. Now, without further ado, let's begin Nightmare Ned. bed. This is the very beginning of the game. We are starting on the quilt, and all we can do right now is we can move left and right with the left and right arrow keys. So we can go this way, or we can go this way. And I'll go back the other way to show. Okay, so, and then we can also move forward. Still 
bold dare you to come over here! So if you haven't seen this game before, each of these um, little symbols marks a place that you can go to in the game. So this one is the school, and this guy represents the bully of the school. Um, so if I back out, I can hit the, the back arrow key and walk back to the middle. So you can see that it's an apple, so that's for the school. And if we go this way, uh, this one is a syringe and it represents uh, the doctor slash dentist. So if we go forward. For terror. Sorry, the audio cut out kind of weird, but she says she has a prescription for terror, which I don't know who wrote that. So, oh, that's cool. I've never noticed that little animation that she just did with her hands. I guess I've never like sat here long enough watching it. So we'll we'll back out now. So I'll just show you all the different ones we can go to. Also, this is my favorite part of this song. This is really cool. Okay. Uh, so this sorry, I should have stayed for a second. But I'm just dying for you to visit. So he represents the Grim Reaper, and if I back out, uh, you'll see that it's a little tombstone. And um, yeah, all of these symbols have a spiral on them. I'll get to that at a later point. Uh, so this one is a toilet, and it goes to the bathroom level. And I, I said tombstone, did I say that it goes to the graveyard? But it goes to the graveyard. This one is the toilet. And it goes to the bathroom and other plumbing plumbing accessories. Um, so we'll zoom in on that one. Let me flush you into my nightmare. And so yeah, he's supposed to be a spooky toilet, and his voice sounds really familiar. I can't quite remember if he's in anything else that I'm familiar with, but. Yeah, so he is the the shadow creature that represents the bathroom world. So we'll back out. And my apologies for any lag that may happen during the game. I I'm doing the best that I can, but I can't control everything that happens in the game. So this is a spider. And hey, let's play hide and go boom! So these two are twins that are attached, and I believe that they're supposed to represent the twins in Stephen King's The Shining, um, but they are the shadow creatures that are for the attic, basement, and beyond. So we'll back out now. Okay, so all of these places that we can go to are supposed to represent something that Ned in particular, but a lot of kids as well, something that they fear. So this one, kids are always afraid of going into the attic or the basement or beyond, whatever that is. Um, Cause like, you know, there's spooky stuff in there and obviously spiders as the, the little symbol shows. Um, go this way. So the, the bathroom one, I think that there's a specific set of children who are just terrified of flushing the toilet, and I haven't seen all of the episodes of the Nightmare Ned TV show, but I wouldn't doubt that they've covered something with that, but if not, um, yeah, so the, the toilet is just because kids are scared of flushing the toilet or like the sound that it makes, so they decided to make that into an entire level, so that's kind of cool. Go this way. So the graveyard level, the kids and adults, I'm sure, are all scared of death and dying and spooky graveyards and stuff, and this graveyard kind of took that to a crazy amount and has some of the most freaky characters I've ever seen, especially in a kid's game, but there's just one character in it that just, he's too creepy. Anyway, so that's the graveyard. I know I've kind of covered that already, but I'm just saying what they represent. Um, so yeah, the syringe, a lot of people are scared of needles, so that's part of it. 
and then also just going to the doctor or being in a hospital and like the idea of surgery that's all pretty scary so that's why they they put that in there and like I think the description on the game is um, oh geez I forgot what I was gonna say um, but he, he's like haunted by he sorry I remember now. he's got an overactive imagination and that's how kind of all of this comes into play is um, Nightmare Ned, he's a 10-year-old boy who's just plagued by nightmares every night. That would be the worst, um, but it's just represented and we get to play in his nightmare. Okay, so this one is the school, and uh, for anyone who's had to deal with like bullies or just awkward social groups or like anxiety. School can be a really scary place as well, so they put that in there. Oddly enough, I find that to be the least scary level out of all of them, even though I'm kind of a person who's had a lot of anxiety going through school. So that's what that one represents. Uh, and then this one I already covered. So we are going to start with the graveyard. Um, I I haven't played this for a while, but whenever I do, I like to start with the graveyard just because it's right there when you start, so you might as well... Like, if you wanted to speedrun this game, this would probably be the first one you'd go to, because it's right there. I'm just dying for you to visit! And if you do return to the quilt, um, the... The shadow creatures will have different dialogue. I think they have two sets of dialogue, um... Every time you complete a task, they get two new ones. Um, but we'll we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, I think that I'm going to try and do um, get the good ending. We should be able to go back to the quilt a couple of times and still be able to get the good ending. Um, and then I'll show what not to do later. So we'll go here first. So to get into here, we press uh, the shift key. It's kind of a weird key to use for that, but we do. And those pillows are so gross. They kind of remind me of like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. I wouldn't doubt that was the idea considering it's Disney. And Ned breaks his legs and the game's over. I'm just kidding. He somehow buried himself by falling. I don't understand how that happened. We need a lift. So this guy, he... He likes to kind of make a comment every time you come into this zone. Because you come in the same way, so he's kind of a jerk. But he's not the worst. Um, if you're right here... And you can use your yo-yo by pressing the space bar. He doesn't like that, so he will do this. Ooh. Yeah, so that's kind of gross. I th th think he might do it if you do it behind him as well. Oh no, you're not in the right spot, so it doesn't hit you. Okay, um, so you're supposed to go to the right when you get to this level. You can go to the left, but I feel like it's a little more difficult if you're just starting out and trying to figure out uh, how far away from enemies you should be to use the yo-yo stuff. But thankfully you cannot die in this game. Um, you can lose at the end, but um, there's no way to actually die. I think you can softlock the game and get stuck pretty easily, but um, yeah, you can't actually get killed by anything. And that's something, if you stand here for too long, a spider comes down and bonks you on the head with his bum. So we're gonna go to the right. And you can see the, the backgrounds, some of it is 3D art, some of it's 2D art, and it's definitely inspired by the Starry Night picture, which is pretty cool. So we'll keep going. So I always get nervous <laughs> going through here because I don't know when someone's gonna pop up. I think the first one is a guy who, yeah, there he is. So he's got a bag with an animal in it with a dog mask on, and he's wearing a cat mask. So it's actually a cat that is in the bag, sorry for the spoiler, but uh, you can go up to him and he will scratch you, and, or I think when he's got the mask he bites you, and that kind of hurts. Yeah, I guess. He's a jerk. 
So, oh, and he can get you when you're pretty far away. So that sucks. I wonder if I can jump past him. Yep, he didn't care about that. Oh, but he switched sides. Uh, if you press control, you'll jump in a forward direction. But if you press shift, you'll just jump straight up into the air. So, do it right here. Yeah, so if you press control, you just jump straight ahead. And he doesn't care because I didn't hit the little hitbox for that. And he can switch sides again. And there he goes. And another thing you can do is hold down shift and the left or right arrow key at the same time and you'll jump in that direction. So that's kind of handy too. Unnecessary, but handy. So I'm going to use my yo-yo on the animal. Now it's a cat. And I can't chase after him fast enough he disappears. So, yeah, he didn't like that. What? He's back? I've never seen that before. How? Ah, he, he lapped around the whole place and came back. Alright. Oops, I got too close. Yeah, jerk. Oh, there we go. Nope. Sometimes you just have to get your footing just right so the yo-yo goes in the right spot. Alright, so we're gonna keep going this way. So, this is the first, uh, I'm not really sure what to call it, like a, a mini game or a mini puzzle type thing. Um, so it looks really scary like you'll die if you fall down there, but uh, actually, you're okay. That is a big worm in there, like right at the top. Holy crap. So it's falling down. Those guys are just hanging out, but I guess that's what they're up to today. So, when I played this as a kid, this guy scared the pants off of me because he's just so freaky. Um, he doesn't appreciate you coming near him if you try to jump up here, I think. Yeah. He flips his book backwards and... Yeah. And he's got, like, people stuck in the books on the shelf over there. So, you can hit him with your yo-yo and he goes like this. So I sometimes when I'm just playing by myself and being dumb I'll just keep hitting him because it's funny. Um, so what we're supposed to do is hit his lamp because his lamp is dancing right now and we're not about that. And he doesn't like that. So we'll go over here. I'll just show what happens. So the lamp turned himself back on and now he's back to dancing. Everybody's happy except for me. So what you're supposed to do is you hit the lamp and then make him look at the lamp. And that's your opportunity to jump on the bench and you will realize that this is not a bench or a stool or footrest. It is a trampoline and it is ridiculous. Also it kind of looks like there's eyes in the little end table right here. Okay. Jump and press shift. Wee! That stool did not obey the laws of physics whatsoever. So, this is something really cool. Most people see that guy fly out of there, and that just makes you feel like, okay, I completed that area, the bad is gone, or he's getting out of there. I don't need to ever go back there again. Now, this blew my mind about. I think it was two years ago when I did the 20, 20th anniversary walkthrough and I was trying to find all of the hidden passages. You know, I'll just, I'll come back here later and explain thoroughly once we've completed the level, like how the secret passages work, because we'll, we'll come to one and it'll make more sense, so I'll, I'll do, I'll go on that whole ramble in a little bit. So we go this way. and. Sometimes getting out of that room will cause you to um, progress in the level, and again, I'll have to explain that when it comes to it. But anyways, moving on to what's going on right now. Sorry, I'm kind of saying a lot of things at once. Uh, if you've played the game before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but right here at these three tombstones, you need to kind of be on guard. It, it doesn't matter, um, but if you just keep walking, you will run into an enemy and if you don't use your yo-yo right away 
he will hit you and um, potentially cause you to not <laughs> uh, potentially cause you to not get that level progress progression thingy. Like you can come back and try again, but if you want to get it on the first time, you can use your yo-yo right away. But we're gonna let him hit us and just see what happens. So, Ned is like hot pink in the middle. Um, so we keep going, and he won't show up again until we come back. I think if I just like make that go off the screen and come back, he'll be there. So let's see. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, no? Okay, so we probably have to come back around then. So let's just keep going. There's a cool little skull on the tomb tombstone. I almost said tombstone. That would be weird. Um, there's a cool skull on the tombstone back there. And there's a bunch of skeletons. That's cool. Um, these trees are pretty cool too. I kind of wish there was a bit more variation to the trees, like making different faces or something. But, I mean, there's so much going on, I can't really ask for that. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be silly. Um, anyways, we'll, we'll keep going. So this... The top of this tree is definitely what nightmares are made of. Um, so we're gonna climb this little ladder and see what's hiding at the top. That creepy pumpkin on the right is gross. Um, to climb up, you just go near a ladder and press the up arrow. So these ghosts, I don't believe they actually hurt you, they're just in the way. Yeah, so they block your path, and, yeah, uh, so what we need to do is hit them with the yo-yo. Press the space bar. This guy, these two are just so creepy. Um, and you can't kill them, you can't get to them, you can just look at them all day. And if you try to walk further, Ned just goes, oh, no, can't go down there. <laughs> The one on the left, up above me, he's got like a little Ned face, but oh god, he turns so freaky. I've never actually looked at his animation that closely. His back? Wow. They they really outdid themselves the whole creep factor in this game. Uh, so for this staircase, we just walk towards it and Ned will automatically go up the stairs. So then this guy... Um, if you hit one of them, they both disappear, so we we'll do that. We don't need to go this way, but you're kind of getting a glimpse of the scariest enemy ever. And, uh, yeah, again, Ned just runs into the thing. You can't go that way. And then we need to go up the stairs. So if you keep walking to the right, you'll go back down the stairs. So we have to go back up. And then we have to press the right arrow key and up to go upstairs. And I think we can make it all the way up. So, but these guys are still in the way. So we just hit them with the yo-yo and they're gone. So that guy's looking for something. So this is kind of like a little boss fight, I guess, because there's a specific way to do it. And when you're a kid, oh my god, this is terrifying to try and fight this guy. Like, I think that I, I had to quit a couple times because I just got too scared. I don't think he can hurt you while you're right here, but you also can't hurt him. Because when you use your yo-yo, he covers his heart. I'm surprised he has one. But let's get rid of these two. So if you go over here and you're like, I'm too scared, I don't want to fight him, he will do something really gross. I think, in a second. Do it. Come on. Right here. Right here. Ooh. He didn't like that. Ew. Oh, we walked over it. That's kind of weird. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get access to his heart. And obviously when we're on the same level as him, it's the same, but he covers it up and says, no way, Jose not gonna happen. So what we need to do 
is um, we need to stand close to him, which that in itself, no thank you. But when you stand close to him, he'll raise his hand up and attack you. Um, but that is also the opportunity to use your yo-yo and hit him in the heart. So that's kind of cool. Also, funny thing, when I was trying to get him to do the little bug thing, I, and I said do it, that reminded me of the little kid that's in Shrek 4. And then wouldn't you know it, if anybody's not already aware, um, in the fourth Shrek movie, uh, the character Rumpelstiltskin is actually voiced by Walt Dorn, who is the art director for this game. So that's pretty wild. Um, but anyways, so let's fight this enemy. Oh, sorry, I interrupted that. Okay, so let's let's see what he does when he attacks you. It sucks. And he also pushes you further back. So he can get you quite a way. I guess that's as far back as I go. But yeah, that's not fun. So let's go close to him and get him. So it's gonna take a few attempts. But you just press the spacebar when he puts his hand in here. This one should be the last one. Okay. So, what that was, is that was a sign that we have progressed, uh, I believe, one third of the level. Um, because we completed something, we faced a fear, essentially. And, um, so yeah, that was the, uh, Grim Reaper Shadow Creature, but he was wearing pants, so that's kind of cool. And as we face more fears in the level, more enemies, or no, sorry, uh, more, uh, clothing parts and stuff will start appearing on the Shadow Creature, and we'll see who he really is. So. We're gonna kind of pull the mask off of him Scooby-Doo style. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So, also you can press the down button and Ned will duck. I don't believe that ever actually serves a purpose. The only time I've used it is to go down the stairs. The up arrow doesn't do anything. Um, if you don't like the level that you're playing or like you want to try something else for a little bit, you can press the Q button and go back to the quilt. Um, that will affect things in the game. Uh, and it'll reset the level, but that's okay. So now we're gonna go down the ladder. Mm -hmm. All right. Ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? Not a talking one, but yes. So, Ain't um, you ever seen a pumpkin before? This guy's gonna interrupt me while I try to explain what's going on. Uh, Ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? I'm gonna go over here to explain it. So, um, Ain't these... you ever seen oh a pumpkin gosh. before? <laughs> so, let's go over here. So those three pumpkins. Um, Ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna. Right here? Is that good enough? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> okay, so um, those three pumpkins, or I don't know what the middle guy is, he doesn't really look like a pumpkin. Um, but they are just there as an inconvenience as you're passing through. Uh, they will just do something gross and then that's awkward and then you just move on. You can't actually attack them or anything. If you're like, I don't want to get hit by that, then uh, you just uh, press the control button and jump forward and I'm pretty sure you can jump past them without interacting with them. That's kind of how a lot of stuff in the game works is there's a lot of really specific hitboxes to uh, avoid or like if you want to avoid getting hit by stuff. But uh, we'll just walk past it to show what happens because Gotta see it, even though it's gross. Do it. Do it. Do it. Actually, I think it's the middle one that throws up on you. But that's not really a pumpkin. It does, the other two look like pumpkins. Now he's not saying anything? Really? My head is ready to burst all over! Are you looking at my head? Kiss my seat. 
You looking at my head? He's rude. You looking at my head? Um, it was kind of gross that there was a bone in you what he You looking at up. my head? Like, what? How did he? You I mean, looking there are at bones my head? everywhere, so I guess that makes sense. No, I'm not looking at your head. Never seen a pumpkin. Whoa! So I don't know if anything happens if you walk past them again. I haven't actually tried that. You looking at my head? No. Ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? All right. We've you heard looking at my guy. head? Okay. So this is another puzzle for you to solve in the game. Um, it may or may not um, make you progress further in the level. Um, I, I think there's some randomization that they wanted to have for replayability where some things will give you a progression point and some things won't and it's just randomized so you get to play the game multiple times and explore different things. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do this and jump in. So you just jump once and then you're standing on like the weirdest part to stand on there. And then we jump again and we fall in. And this is really cool that you actually get a 3D perspective on the level. Like, that's crazy. Because this game came out in 97. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're inside of the vase. As you can kind of see the way they did the perspective, you can still see the sky out there. Um, oh, and he's drinking the drops that are coming from the top. I don't know. Um, so, what we have here is this guy the demon behind Ned. Uh, he's sitting on a toy box and we need that but if we're like hey get out of the way and we hit him he does that and that's not very nice and if we go over here he's- I don't get this I don't like is he just being rude I guess yeah so but he's hanging out because he's having friend he's having fun with his creepy friends you've got the four-eyed boy over here and the um, buffalo sheep thing? Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to use the yo-yo on these guys. I wonder if he actually licks you. No, it doesn't matter. So use the yo-yo. And now he's like, hey. So it's a cute little puppy, I think. So now we go over here. And, uh... So we just use the yo-yo on him. And then he's a little clown. And like, the cutest clown ever. Cause this game, why would there be a cute clown? And they put a cute clown, I don't understand. It should be a terrifying clown. Okay, so now he's gone, he didn't like what happened. All his friends are gone. So we jump on top of the toy box. Oops. Sorry. Um, little did that guy know that he was sitting on a box that had another creepy friend. Like, he probably would have liked to hang out with him. Okay, so this part's kind of creepy. Um, if your game is being really, uh, either laggy or sped up, there's a possibility to kind of get stunlocked here. Um, because this little Girl Scout will... Um, stand up and start hucking flaming marshmallows at you, which sounds great if they weren't on fire, but they are, so that would hurt. Um, so yeah, I think I should be fine. <laughs> okay. So, just back up a bit and she can't hit you anymore. Or, I'm just lying all over the place. Okay. So just use the yo-yo on her. Uh, it's not too threatening if you get hit. Um, so this grave or pit has flames coming out of it. And even though we jumped down a pit earlier, that doesn't mean we can jump down this one because it will hurt. Oop. Okay. So we can never go down there. That's, that's not a place we can go. So what we need to do is... Oh my god, that scared me. I've never seen that before. Um, the big flame guy just dropped the Girl Scout out again. Um, okay, so what we need to do is press control and jump across. And then use the yo-yo. Come on. 
Oh no. This isn't going well. Okay, jump across. Jump. Turn around. Okay, get at the right. What the? Come on. She... She doesn't care. Okay. Um... Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to kill her, but never mind. Okay, so just jump past her, I guess. Okay, so we come over here and we've got a zombie. And he's kind of gross. And then you can also see there's a little tombstone down there. That uh, says capers. So that's creative capers who made the game. And I just realized something. Um, so this guy won't do anything to you if you just walk past him. He doesn't care. Uh, he doesn't care if you use your yo-yo on him. He's just hanging out. So we need to go back because this Girl Scout needs to be showed who toasts the marshmallows around here. So far it's her. There we go. Now we gotta kill this one. There we go. Okay. Now that they're both dead, we need to eat a cookie. Ooh. Ew. So those were gross and now we're a zombie. Boop, 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 ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. So um, being a zombie automatically means you have a hole in your sock. Um, so we can keep going, or we can uh, go to the left and we'll turn back into a human. Uh, you can't duck in this, uh... oh it just timed out, never mind. You know, I don't know as much about this game as I thought. Those girls came back, I didn't know they did that. Let's just let's just eat the cookie and get moving. Ooh. He just ate one and yeah. turned into a zombie. He's like, I'll do it again. That sounds great. Okay, so we'll get to stepping. And hey, this guy's a zombie. We're a zombie. Let's hang out. So he hugs you. I feel like he thinks you're his kid or his like his son, and he's like, hey. But he just crushes you and you fly into here and you're fine. This is... That horse up there is uncomfortable to listen to. I don't like it. And it, we gotta make it stop. So this girl is hanging out in here. She kind of looks like she's gone crazy. She's lost it because she's like holding her knees, shaking back and forth. Um, we Afraid of the dark. Afraid of the dark. I don't blame her. This room is scary in the light, but, um... Night, light. Night, light. That bat stole my night light. Bat on ceiling. Can't reach it. So she's telling us that the bat on the ceiling stole her night light because he's a jerk. Close music box. Climb up. Get that. And I don't know why she's telling us this. Like, she could do it. But it's also kind of weird that they're just specifically telling you what to do. But again, it is a kid's game, so we'll do what she says. I just want to see if she has any more dialogue. Nope, that was it. So let's close the music box. There's a little smiley face on the top. That's cute. And jump on here. And then we jump on this. And jump up here. So if we hit him from here, it just does that. So we need to press uh, control and jump over here. I don't know if we can jump on the bed. Nope, we cannot. So let's come back up. Oh, I have to move a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now we need to hit him in the bum and that will swing him into the bed. Thank you. <laughs> you can go now. Bye bye. Thanks. It was fun to be here. Um. And that's just how the horse is all the time. Like, she's like, I love this room, it's the greatest. Um, the little outlets are skulls, so that's kind of cute. But it's also weird that the uh, nightlight just has like one prong on it that plugs into the outlet, but. I mean, that's not the weirdest thing going on in this room. Okay. 
Okay. Does she say anything else? No. He just wants- like, you can tell if uh, Ned wants to hit something with his yo-yo, he'll point at it even if you're not near it, so he's like, hit the horse. Okay, so we'll head back out. Also, I think it's supposed to be angels on there, but all I see is weird duck faces. And we progress further. <clears throat> so, he had uh, a shirt on, and he's kind of dressed like he's about to go golfing or something. Um, but we'll find out more about him later. So now we are two-thirds of the way completing this level. Sorry, I just had to get a drink. Um, so we're gonna keep going. So it's kind of neat that we went behind us back there. Um, but I just see like guys with duck bills looking down. And am I looking at it wrong? Yep, I think I am. I think it's supposed to be like angels flying towards the center and the duck bills are actually their wings, but I don't know. So, um, this is a secret passage slash shortcut. Um, that you use to get to those other levels that were on the quilt. Um, we don't want to go to the school right now, um, but if you did, which I'll show it later, but you press spacebar and use your yo-yo and this little box right here will open up and then you just need to position yourself right and you just get sucked into it and then you'll go to the school level. But we're not doing that right now, so we'll keep going. So, someone died. You know, it's not surprising because this place is terrible. Um, so this is another puzzle and it's pretty scary. I'm not a fan of it because you do need to act fast. Um, I don't believe you get sent back to the quilt or anything if you fail it. I think you just come back up here, but it's not fun if you don't make it because then you have to do it again and it's kind of a long way down but uh we're gonna go down and just see and we'll, i'll show you what happens if you get uh hit or taken i guess so we can walk over it and that doesn't matter uh but what triggers it is by pressing shift and jumping onto it and everyone just disappeared i don't know where they went <laughs> i just saw the thing over on the right just loaded in okay so we're going down here and there is a ladder, so that's interesting. And now here's where it gets freaky. These are Ned's parents, and you can't get back up. There's no no way to get back no. up, and his dad just grabbed him and threw him back up. Okay, so yeah, you just come back up here, but like those are his parents. Ugh. But um, so yeah, so we need to deal with that and get back out of here to progress through the level. So what we're gonna do is jump onto the coffin again. And now we need to beat up Ned's parents. I'm not sure if there was a picture of his parents anywhere. Um, I think there might have been at least a picture of his mom. Um, but you wouldn't know that these are his parents, I don't think, on a first playthrough. So we just need to hit them once to get them to stop coming towards us. And it put their limbs on the uh, ladder there, but we can't climb up yet. But let's hit them again. Okay, I hit this one. So you could go back up at this point, but it's kind of better to get rid of them. And those are gigantic shoes! Holy! So we'll hit him. And I always thought that the texture that appears on those little skulls is kind of cool. Okay, so um, I don't think you go anywhere. It's, yeah, he threw you into the coffin, but for some reason there's actually nothing back there, just a wall. Um, yeah, so that's kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna climb up the ladder now, and we should hopefully get the third part of the level progression here, so we're gonna climb back up. Ned will do it automatically, so that's really good. This is a long way to go. 
Okay, and nope, that didn't count as a way to progress the level. And you can go back down, but there's I don't believe there's anything down there, so we'll just we'll try it. Hopefully we're not just wasting time, but I bet you we are. Yeah, I think it's just gonna look the same as how we left it. It kind of looks like there's figures, figures in the, the background. Um, like, I'll see if we can see. Oh, go back up. Um, on the left, on kind of the pink stuff, it looks like there's a guy looking up, and uh, let's see, like that one right there kind of looks like a woman. But it's hard to tell. It could just be random shapes, and I'm thinking too much into it, but. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we're nearing the end of this section, like this level, and the graveyard is almost complete, so we're gonna keep going. And also, you can't attack anybody here, because they're, they're immune to yo-yos, they think that's weird. So well, let's keep going. And they all have umbrellas and it's not raining or, or sunny out or anything, that's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm not quite going to walk in front of it, but this here is uh, the mausoleum and it's another uh, secret passage and this one takes you to the bathroom level. Um, again, we don't want to go there right now, so we're going to walk past it. Um, and this is one of the hardest secret passages to trigger because it wants your positioning to be just perfect or else it won't trigger. It's really dumb. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk past it because we don't want to go there and we'll just keep exploring for now. So it triggers, but unless you press up it says no, but sometimes sometimes if you're in the wrong spot, uh, even if you press up it won't work. Okay, so we just keep going and that guy's a jerk. Shut her head off. We'll just keep going. Um, and then he does it again. Doesn't matter, but we'll just keep going. So this is a secret passageway that takes you to the doctor dentist level. You just use your yo-yo and the coffin will open and we'll go through it. But we're not. We're just going to keep going this way. And here, here's another spot ugh, where you can... I'm going to go over here. Uh, this is a spot where you can also get stun locked. I've had that happen to me a very long time ago. Um, but basically this guy will keep throwing the eyeballs at you and by the time they come off he's throwing new ones on and it just never ends. So it's best to try and jump past him and use the yo-yo on him as quickly as you can so you don't get stuck. So let's jump, jump, oh he got us anyways but that's okay. And hit him. There we go. Now he's gone. So now we're coming up to something that should look familiar. This guy. So let's hit the yo-yo on him. Or not. Okay. It's weird he hits the ground there. I don't really know why. Anyways, we don't need to deal with him right now. We'll just keep going. And you'll notice as we come around here that some things have changed once we get there. Okay, so it's this jerk. And now he's got what looks like a dog wearing a cat mask, so that's kind of weird. And if we do this, he scratches us. And yeah, it kind of makes us look like pancakes. Ned pancakes. Um, so, same rules apply as before. You need to position yourself correctly and just hit him with the yo-yo. And you'll see what happens. Hey, Ned! Don't look so scared. It's me, Grandpa Ted. Grand? The one and only. Are you... dead? Well, not yet. So stop the worrying. We still have places to go, things to do. Just me and you. Call me when you wake up. We'll take you in a monster movie. My yo -yo. I don't know why Ned did the yo-yo after. I didn't press that. Um, but yeah, that was Ned's grandpa, Ted. Um, that's who the Grim Reaper shadow creature... That kind of sounds like a, a 
cartoon or something. Anyways, um, that's who he represented, and I think that because, I think some people have said this in the comments on my other YouTube video, but, um, Ned is afraid that his grandpa is old and might pass away, and so he has conjured up this whole thing and, like, he's afraid of his parents dying, he's thinking about, I don't know, this grave digger for some reason, but, um, yeah, so we've uncovered what Ned's afraid of, and we're ready to move on. So we're actually gonna go this way. And in case the audio cut off too soon, his grandpa said he'd take him to Monster Movie when he wakes up, and that's probably one of the reasons why Ned has so many nightmares. His grandpa's showing him scary movies. And this guy's back again! And it's the cat again. Well, the cat with the dog mask. So, same thing happens. But... Now we don't uh, get any more progression points because we beat the level. So, uh, what we can do at this point is we can either press Q and uh, we'll go back to the quilt and we can pick another level, which is totally fine. Or we can keep going. That was weird. Um, we can keep going and I can show you what I was talking about here earlier. And this includes a secret passage. Or, uh, we can pick a different one, but I think I might go through here for the next one. So, as I was saying before, this is what blew my mind. Because when I played this as a kid, I th and, and as an adult, I thought that I was done with this whole level. I thought I was done with the, the grave right there, but I wasn't. And, like, I even checked, uh, the, uh, walkthrough online. I can't remember where it was, but even they didn't know where uh, the fourth secret passage was. I think it's fourth. Um, but where it was in here. But I managed to find it, and that was crazy, because I'd never seen any of these animations, so we're gonna fall down. It just, like, I, I was searching for it, and I went down here to, like, double check if I missed anything, and I saw all these guys are asleep. And we're not falling on them. That's kind of weird. And then what is this? It's a, a couch that tickles you for some reason. And then you just go right back up. And I was like, well, that was something I've never seen before. But I also didn't accomplish anything. So then I thought, well, you know, I checked it once. And I found something new, so I'm gonna check it again, just to see if anything else is different. So, hold on to your hats. Because if you played this and never found this, I, I mean, if you saw my other video, that's gonna blow your mind too, but it was just like the weirdest discovery I never thought I would find before. So I thought, you know, we're gonna find the skeleton again, but it's actually this scene. Um. So you can see classic cartoons where the thing that animates is differently colored than the background. I also think that couch has eyes and teeth. Um, but if you jump on the little cushion thingy, uh, you'll fly back up out of here. But you don't want to do that if you want to use the secret passage. Um, so we're going to use the secret passage. And that has the spider on it. So that will take us to the attic, the basement, and beyond. Ned, don't pick your nose. Um, so that will take us there. So what we need to do, and it's really tempting to jump on this, but that's not what we want to do. We want to use the yo-yo on the cupboard. And this, oddly enough, or no, it's not the cupboard that we used it on. We actually used it on the lamp. Oh, not close enough. Okay. So you can see they're filling up the room that we're in. So now we need to kind of hurry. Get me out of here! Help! Get me out of here! So we need to keep scooting uh, to the left of the screen. And once we get close enough, use our yo-yo. If you take too long, it'll reset. But, I mean, we should do it now because this takes a while. And there we go. And now the door is open. So we can either go back out through the, the cushion and fly back out, or we can go through the door. So let's go through the door. And it's like there's a vacuum in here, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the other secret passageway. Oh, no, nope, never mind. 
no, no animation for that. So we are transitioning from the graveyard to the attic and the basement and everything. And that was the little cutscene for that. So this is the attic, basement, and beyond level. It sounds like the audio is lagging a little bit. Um, but this is where I'm going to leave it uh, for part one. Um, and again, check the description below if you need more information on how to get this game running on, I think, Windows 7, 8, and 10. Um, yeah, so this is where we'll pick up on the next one. Uh, also, if you have any uh, questions about the game, or if there's anything you'd like me to explore further, or any games that you'd want me to play besides this one, uh, leave a comment below. I read all of the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.